All right, you guys, this is Team Olympus again with another deck profile on Monarchs. Uh, this is another one that tied for first place, and we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so anyone who knows Monarchs knows there's a couple staples. I obviously run three Adias and three Eidos. I know some people go the Super Quant route, but with e Telly going down to two, I figure I might as well go back to pure Monarchs. Rota one for one to help get that um the get Ida out faster. Obviously, three ethers staple in the deck, great for getting cards out. And then this is where I differ from some people. I only run two Erebus in the third position. Either throw in Zavorg to blow up an extra deck. Or sometimes I'll swap it out with Caius, depending on if they're running a lot of darks, a lot of instant damage, and good chance to banish BA monsters. I run two Kuraz, easy way to get rid of cards, pop, you know, scales, anything giving me trouble. Every once in a while I'll swap one out with a Majesty's mirror matches, something I need to, you know, negate some effects for. Then there's obviously more staples. Definitely run three Pantheisms. Three Stormforths because nothing's better than Stormforth. Three Tenacities. Get you anything you need from your deck. And last but not least, card everyone loves to hate, Domain. Lock down the opponent's extra deck, make your stronger, easier to bring out. Can't beat that. Now, the things I do differ from. I only run one return, one march, and one erupt. In most cases, if I get a field set up and get these out there, it pretty much shuts down my opponent and I don't have to worry too about too much. I run one Mithra. Easy one to have out there, get you another summon off of it. Easy target for um, just about anything. I run two primes. Some people only run one. I like running two. I have two. One in the graveyard. You can have one set. One storming. Obviously a great way to send things back to the hand. Takes care of pendulum. Sends them back in. At least clears the field ready. Yeah. Two twin twisters. Get rid of any back row, any scales, any spells giving you trouble. What deck doesn't run a Raigeki? And two effect failures, because you can't beat the hand traps. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, no extra deck. Alright, you guys, this is our deck profile on Monarchs. Again, it won first place. Uh, we tied for first place against the Odd Eyes, um, Odd Eyes Magician deck, so I hope you guys like it. Thank you. It's time!